From ancient ruins to charming coastal villages, Italy has easily become one of the favorite destinations in Europe. With its dazzling landscapes, passionate people, and of course, incredible food and wine. So are you ready for the ultimate Italian adventure? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Italy? Pasta, romance, art, let me know in the comments. And if you love seeing stunning travel visuals and tips for planning your own trips to world famous destinations, make sure to subscribe. Now let's count down the 10 best places to visit in Italy. A number 10, Naples. First up at number 10 is Naples, the buzzing capital of the Southern Campania region. Birthed by ancient Greek settlements, Naples is one of Italy's oldest cities, and loudest too. This port city is famed as the home of pizza, so take a food tour to taste the world's best pies paired with local wines. Explore the National Archaeological Museum to see the amazing treasures dug up from Pompeii. Take day trips to see the impressive Mount Vesuvius or discover more about the past at the ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum. After the sensory overload here, Relaxation awaits on the gorgeous nearby isles of Capri, Ischia, and Presida. Number nine, Italian Lake District. If you want soothing escapes surrounded by Alpine nature, head for Northern Italy's Lake District next. Dotting the foothills of the Alps and Dolomites, these glacial lakes shine like glittering jewels. Lake Como is arguably the most famous and fashionable with mellow lakeside towns and opulent villas landscaping its forested slopes. Catch a ferry tour for camera-worthy vistas of picturesque Varenna and the magnificent Villa Carlotta Gardens. Act like Hollywood royalty and hire a boat to cruise between tiny towns bordered by mountains that plunge straight into sapphire waters. Or escape the crowds by driving high into the Alps to Lake Garda, Italy's largest lake. Lux, Maggiore, and Orta also offer laid-back resort towns on their tranquil shores without intense commercial tourism. Number eight, Sicily. We cross the Strait of Messina next to reach Sicily, the football-shaped island kicking off Italy's boot. As the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, Sicily has been ruled and settled by ancient Greeks, Carthaginians, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, and more this cultural kaleidoscope really shines through in the sights. In capital Palermo, admire Arab Norman buildings with Byzantine mosaics beside lavish Baroque churches and palaces. Street food here also fuses tastes from across continents over millennia. Don't miss out on Arancini rice balls and fruity sorbet. Over on the East Coast, dramatically sighted ancient Greek ruins stick out from cacti at the Valley of Temples in Agrigento. This is one of the world's best preserved sites with fiery hued Doric columns still soaring skywards. Modern Greek history continues in Taormina too, an impossibly charming coastal hill town that doubles up as Italy's artsy summer playground with its boutique hotels, cute cafes, and grand amphitheater views of smoldering Mount Etna. And number seven, Cinque Terre. Northern Italy continues to charm at number seven with the Cinque Terre, Meaning five lands in Italian, this string of pastel-washed fishing villages clings dramatically to the Ligurian coast. Cinque Terre is a national park and UNESCO World Heritage Site. People really want to go there because it keeps traditional culture alive. Footpaths and trains connect the villages of Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Corniglia, Vernazza, and Monterosso. Walk along the Blue Trail and you'll see beautiful views of blue seas touching colorful houses on cliffs with vineyards and lemon orchards. You can also see old castles and mountains in the distance. A break from hiking awaits back in the old fishing towns. Rest your tired legs in Vernazza's picture-perfect harbor, eat seafood dinners in the town of Monterosso, or try Cinque Terra's famous sweet Schiacatra wine made from grapes grown on dangerous slopes. Number six, Milan. Crossing West Inland to the fashion and finance nexus of Italy, now with Milan. Though flattened by WYI bombings, this lively northern city rebuilt creatively into a flashy metropolis known for its upscale shopping and contemporary architecture. Join the wealthy crowds in the Golden Quadrilateral to see stylish models while browsing high-end designer stores. Art lovers shouldn't miss Leonardo da Vinci's famous Last Supper mural either, located in the cafeteria of Santa Maria delle Grazie Church. For an escape from the city buzz, 
Milan's outskirts pamper with picture-perfect Italian scenery too. Find the reflecting Lake Como for stately villas, the trendy Bellagio resort town, or the Alps surrounding icy Lake Garda nearby. Number five, Amalfi Coast. Traveling south back to the coast brings us to the Amalfi Coast. This range of cliffs meeting the Tyrrhenian Sea creates one of Italy's most splendid landscapes. 13 towns stretch along 30 miles of bluffs, bays, and jagged peaks. Our first stop is Positano, the coast's showstopper, with a sharp slope of peach and coral houses cascading to the pebble beach. Then we continue along the famed Amalfi Drive by bus. Further west, we enter Ravello, the coast's hidden cultural gem, with magnificent villas like Villa Ruffalo nestled in perfectly tended gardens. Save time for island hopping too. From Sorrento, we can ferry over to the posh Isle of Capri set like a jewel in the Gulf of Naples with its iconic Ferraglioni formations. Number four, Pompeii. This next destination transports us back thousands of years as we uncover more history across the Bay of Naples at Pompeii. Frozen in time by Mount Vesuvius' disastrous volcanic eruption and preserved under ash for nearly 2,000 years, walking the unearthed streets of Pompeii offers a rare glimpse into everyday Roman life. As we roam damaged homes, stores, and market booths, it's surreal to see paint still stuck on walls or wagon wheel ruts worn into roads. Look out for still visible body casts of dying figures trying to take shelter amid the non-stop volcanic fallout. Other highlights include seeing intact thermal baths with original plumbing, preserved myths painted on wealthy villa walls, ancient bakeries and bars you can now walk through exposed under modern roofs. No trip here is complete without looking up at the mighty volcano that caused all this destruction. And number three, Venice. From antiquity, we fast forward many centuries for number three to one of Italy's most unique cities, Venice. What's not to love about this sinking gem? Wonder at how creative Italians built an unlikely addition of fancy Byzantine-style palaces and colorful houses. Right on a lagoon, instead of roads, canals serve as liquid streets where boats replace buses in Venice. So we'll intentionally get lost on a gondola to absorb the romance of these waterways and admire Baroque churches from a specially heavenly vista. Under the new view from a slow boat, architectural details shine as we pass under the Bridge of Sighs, linking the palace to interrogation rooms. Back on land, historic Venice centers around Piazza San Marco, flooded by selfie sticks as much as high tides, yet still worth facing for glittering old mosaics inside the Basilica and 99-meter bell tower panorama atop the Campanile di San Marco. Number two, Tuscany. No list of Italy's best places is complete without Tuscany, rolling fields, vineyards, and hill towns that shaped the global image of Italy. Tuscany cycles through shades of green, silvery olive groves, lush sunflower fields, and endlessly rolling hills, all under golden sun most of the year with mild climate. And the hill towns. This region has some of Italy's best preserved medieval settlements, from San Gimignano's soaring stone towers, to Surreal Civita di Bagnoregio set on a crumbling plateau pigeon-dotted Pienza overlooking iconic Valdorcia Valley, and too many others to name topping cypress-lined hill crests. Let's unwind slowly here with wine tasting across vineyard-cloaked estates. From Italy's famous Chianti Reds and Brunello di Montalcino to Super Tuscan Blends, Tuscany offers unlimited world-class wine regions to leisurely toast our way through. With all these tasty local Sangiovese wines to try, we'll need to balance the indulgence somehow, and what better way than getting lost wandering Florence's art collections for exercise? Of course, not only does Florence showcase the Renaissance's greatest artistic bloom, with endless Uffizi gallery queues and the towering David statue. Number one, Rome. Last but not least, what else could take the top spot other than the eternal city herself? Rome. Once the heart of the Roman Empire and still the Italian capital today, Rome captivates all travelers with its ideal mix of epic ancient sites, Baroque squares, lively nightlife, and delicious Italian food. This open-air museum spans over 3,000 years of history. So where do we even start? Kick off at the mighty Colosseum Arena to picture gladiator battles, then walk next door to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, 
sprawling temple and hall ruins that once ruled a dominant civilization for centuries. A quick stroll north takes you to the Pantheon with its record-holding Ancien Dome and Raphael's Tomb. Toss Spara changed backwards into Trevi Fountain to ensure your return to Rome someday. Admire Renaissance masterpieces in the packed Sistine Chapel, or debate pizza toppings in the Jewish ghetto area. Options for filling Roman days are endless. Once the 100,000 plus Vatican Museum artworks make you drope, revive with some shopping therapy on Via Veneto, or people watching from artsy Trastevere's piazzas. Finally, check off seeing magnificent St. Peter's Basilica and Square before toasting your epic Italian adventure at sunset. Maybe with lemon shots on Gianicolo Hill or fine wines at a bistro while plotting how to cram everything else in next time. So, if you could only pick one place to visit it, Italy, which one would you pick and why? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you want to see your next trip, subscribe to us and don't forget to like the video. Okay then, see you in the next video. Bye.